Good evening, class. Tonight we will be presenting the Fairhaven School in Maryland. Background. The Fairhaven School's grand opening was in 1998 in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. The Fairhaven School opened with the purpose of creating a school where, chi where children had the ability to control how and what they learned. Focused on self-directed learning, age mixing, and a true democracy. It was modeled after the Sudbury Valley School in Framingham, Massachusetts, which, was pioneer which has pioneered this philosophy of education since 1968. Fairhaven is a 12-acre campus found in a quiet rural setting in Maryland. Students are mixed with all different age groups, which gives them the opportunity to be with someone older or younger than them. At Fairhaven, students have all control and they get to take part in all school functions. Students ranging from ages 5 to 18 will be provided both time and support in order to help develop the necessary character traits and become successful individuals. Students are confident and determined to pursue all their goals and Fairhaven will help them along the way. Fairhaven also does not prioritize test scores which sets students up for a more realistic future. At Fairhaven, students decide how they get to spend their days. They believe that play allows children to explore and does not, in fact, distract them. Students will gain more educational passion because they get to choose what they want to do, and it becomes more interesting for them. Children and adults alike come to feel a sense of ownership and control over their own lives and over the school environment. The school's democracy seeks to achieve that subtle balance between individual rights and community responsibility, each making the other possible, and creates the environment of fairness, tolerance, and respect, which each of us deserves. Fairhaven School practices a form of democratic education in which students individually decide what to do with their time and learn as a byproduct of ordinary experience rather than through classes or standard curriculum. Students are given complete responsibility for their own education and the school is run by a direct democracy in which students and staff are equals. Because the Fairhaven School has no set curriculum or classes, students are allowed to request what classes they want to attend. Fairhaven is challenging, but the school's emphasis on innovation and self-motivation provides students with the best pop possible preparation for an ever-changing future in their creative economy of the 21st century. Motivated by curiosity and the drive to become competent adults, Fairhaven students grow emotionally, creatively, and intellectually through play, school governance, conversation, the arts, classes, computer activities, reading, and the exploration of nature. At Fairhaven School, we administer no standardized tests and allow students to pursue their interests freely. The children are not tested on specific knowledge because the school does not require the students to know a set curriculum of information. What the children learn day to day is determined solely by individual mm -hmm. desire, so the school has no way of standardizing, standardized testing their knowledge. Children are free to learn whatever and however they choose. No day is like the last at Fairhaven High. Students and staff have the opportunity to experience life and the choices they make every day about how they spend their time, how their choices impact them personally, and the other people in the community. A quote from one of the students states, Our little school can be a peaceful place or a hotbed of controversy and drama. As we bump up against each other and wrestle with, wrestle with issues of ethics, justice, and fairness, I believe that this culture prepares students for the future in the best possible way. In this section, we have decided to compare the Fairhaven School versus the Open School in California. The Fairhaven School is very passionate about outdoor play and interacting face-to-face -to, -face to encourage the development of social skills. Democracy is key. Lots of rules, discussions made mostly by the students. Staff members only intervene in conflict when someone's physical safety is in danger. 
Students can roam the large campus freely, most frequently unsupervised. Students must be in school for a total of five hours a day. Kids ages seven to, and younger can do half a day. For the open school, they're very passionate about screen time as a learning technique and tool, heavily emphasized to help with social skills. Democracy is key. Lots of rules, discussions made mostly by the students. The school recognizes that dangerous situations may arise in life and students should learn to deal with them on their own. Staff only intervene when the situation is life or death. Students can roam the large campus freely, most frequently unsupervised. Students must be in school for a total of five hours a day. Kids ages five and six can have a specialized schedule. Thanks for listening.